Do you know what time it is? Tick tock goes the clock. We're running out of time. I have this understanding that the prophecies are being fulfilled right before our very eyes about when. When will a day of great disaster happen? Well, one of the clues is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says, don't let anyone deceive you about that great, the day of the Lord coming. That day will not come until this man of lawlessness is revealed. And it says he proclaims himself to be God. That's Yuval Noah Harari. He's a counselor to Les Schwab, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Obama. He's a New York Times bestseller. He's all over. He's being promoted. He's promoting the globalism, the new world order. And he says, in the beginning, man created God. In the end, man will be God. This man is proclaiming himself to be God. So we know the day of the Lord can now happen because that scripture tells you it will not happen until he's revealed. Well, hey, it's pretty obvious. The more you look at it, the more you know. It is being revealed. The other now is in... Uh, Isaiah 33, it says, Woe to you, the destroyer, who's never been destroyed. I know that's America. That's our military. I watched President Clinton bombing Yugoslavia 78 days in a row, 400 stories a day, bomb, 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 bomb. 700,000 refugees were coming out of there. Gasoline was reported at $25 a gallon if you could find it. I began to realize <clears throat> the 10 virgins are prophetic about fuel. The 10 virgins are said five are wise, five are foolish. The only difference is wise ones have extra vessels of oil. I totally support the uh, uh, stockpiling fuel, like our national strategic fuel reserves that Biden's trying to deplete, that Trump tried to build up. Fuel is very important. Oil is very important. But the when, it says, woe to you, destroyer, Isaiah 33. Woe to you, O destroyer, you've never been destroyed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. I go, there's a when right there. That when's very important. Because we are stopping. Trump announced the war on terror is over. Time to bring the troops home. I go, that means in Daniel 7, the four beasts. The first one was a lion with wings of the eagle. Well, the lion and the eagle are the United States and the United Kingdom. That was George Bush and Tony Blair on the White House lawn declaring the war on terror that lasted 19 years that Trump said is over. War on terror is over. ISIS have been beaten, beaten badly, used to be dominant. They're not so dominant anymore. So what we know is the stopping is what, happening, what, what? and that's where Biden comes in, cuts off the oil pipeline, fuel triples in price, uh, borders are being overrun. The scene at the border, hundreds of migrants from Central America attempted to storm the U.S. border, desperate to reach U.S. soil. Five million people have been over, come over our borders since Biden got into office, and then it talks about how uh, we leave the Afghanistan, we're pulling out. We leave behind 85 billion in military equipment. Stopping's happening, so there's another when. How do we know when? It's happening now. Another one is 1 Corinthians 10, 11. All the stories in Israel's history serve as warnings and examples for those of us upon whom the end is coming. This end is coming upon us. Egypt's an example, the greatest kingdom in the history of the world at their time, like the United States is now. Pharaoh had a dream from God. Seven fat cows were consumed by seven skinny cows, meaning seven abundant years would precede. Seven years of famine and drought. This river's very low. Lake Mead, Lake Powell very low. Texas farmers are having to haul their cattle to the markets. There's no feed out on the prairie. So we are beginning seven years of famine and drought. Ukraine at war. Can't export any wheat. The world, they're putting the world into a global famine. Food is money. Stockpile your money. Stockpile your money in the form of food. Why do they call an accountant a bean counters? Uh, because they count money. And I saw in, in Brazil an armed guard at the docks guarding beans all night. He said, in our country, beans are the same as cash. As uh, it was bean harvest time in Brazil. Anyway, God has showed me this stuff. You want to turn your money into commodities in your possession. It's very smart information. Other people are saying it. Robert Kawasaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, saying the same thing. Stockpile food. Food is money. Okay, thanks for watching. The big story of our era is the ability to hack human beings, and then you can manipulate them 
in ways which were previously impossible. We need to reinvent democracy for this new era in which humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Okay.